When, if you get in close and I tell you to break the stop punch and step back clean. Any question from the challenger, Chief Second? Urbano here, standing toe to toe is not the way. Mason will be able to get underneath it. Oh, wow! To the right, another left hook that just raises. Trevor, with this bravado, could get in some big trouble directly in front of him. That is all oh, a left hook that really caught him. This is a poor fight plan. Oh, the right hand gets him behind the left ear. Notice the lazy left. Watch Tyson load up with left and right just in round one. Tyson clips him with a light left that time. You get the idea that Mike, as soon as, oh, a light right hand, and Tyson clips him with the left hand. Look at this, combination, and Vermic ready to go, but he stays on his feet. Another right hand, the championship of the world. Trevor Burbick and Mike Tyson. Tyson goes to work right away, and he gets Trevor in trouble, and he's down. Instead, he goes to the body downstairs, catches him with the right hand upstairs. Time. Bangs the body. Wow, with that uppercut is Tyson. Catches him with a right left hook, and he goes down. He goes down. He should be able to get up from this. His legs may be shut. They are. As Trevor Burbick falls back in the rope, I don't know if he's going to be able to continue. He's got the heart. But his body won't let him do what his mind wants to. And he's counted out. It will be scored as a knockout. Tyson on low. Tyson to try to come straight up the middle with a with an uppercut. You heard Smith say, let me have the towel down on holding Mike Tyson. It may be that Tyson is frustrated because... There was a big right hand by Tyson. Hard punches in the hopes of connecting... There's a left hand! Turn an exception of Michael Spinks, who's given up his title, so he doesn't have... There was a right hand! Get his Lewis. <laughs> Speaking of theater, we thought we would see that in the first 10 seconds, not in the last 10 seconds. And it is over. It was it was too late with too little. They see that Mike Tyson still works. He still throws punches. Look at that as he comes in, he feigns left, he feigns right, there's a big left hand. Well, I stated earlier, the key to this punch for uh, Pickle Thomas is the jab. The jab breaks the rhythm. Another big left hand. Thomas is hurt. There's the uppercut. And a big left hand right on the jaw of Pinklin Thomas. Thomas is in all kinds of trouble. And a left hand in that stand. Tyson moves in for the kill. Two uppercuts and a left hand. Thomas trying to hold on. Serious trouble. And down he goes. It's over. It is over. Thomas did not make it by the count of ten. There was a left hand by Tyson. Again, a right hand, but he took a right from Tyson. And another big right by Mike Tyson, and particularly for Tucker. There's a great left hand at the bell by Tyson. Well, you know, Ray, I, I hearken back to your fight with Marvin Hagler. Where after he really wants to frustrate Mike Tyson. You see the intensity in, in uh, Tony Tucker. There was a what a good shot. And get him out of there, people. about Tyson's, or rather Tucker's right hand that he had injured, still mugging with Tyson, which brings the crowd on. There was a big left hand. It's over. That was a good shot by Tyson five years ago, but he really bothered There is the hook, again, because his hands are down. Vex is trying to become a stationary target, which is wrong. To stand there and exchange toe to toe, like I said earlier. And the way that Vex is moving, and the right hand does the most damage. There was a big right hand. Another left hook. Body shot with the left hand. The same cut. And another big left hand, and 
Biggs is hurt. And there was a huge left hand. Start those some uppercuts. He took a big left hand there. What he said he was going to do. And a combination by Tyson. Tyson holding on a great deal now. There was a way all the way back to amateur days. Another left hand, and there's a great shot. His legs will look steady. Oh, that, that was there. a tremendous left hand. Oh, this, this is it. He is gone right now. He has no legs at all. And 10 seconds to go in a round. There's a left hand. He's down again. It's over. It's all over. And it wasn't even close. Obey my commands at all times. Any questions? All right, shake hands. Good luck to both of you. Well, Mike up at his toes, tries to get the footwork going. Trying to pick up the pace in for Larry in his career. He's never been hurt. And I hope he doesn't get hurt tonight. And there's the bell ending the round. And now here he is back to the... Oh, left hook got Larry that time. Right now getting through this fourth round is the biggest problem. Oh, right hand. Down goes Larry Holmes. Ronaldo Snipes had him out with a heavier shot than that. But right now Mike Tyson is in charge. He's the boss, and Larry's down for the second time. Larry Holmes' legs in jelly. There's lightning in the fist. Big right hand, followed up. Mike showing patience to get set for the big shot. Right hand hurt Larry again. He's back at his heels. Larry gets nailed with the left hand, the right hand. Digs to the body, goes to draw right hand. Gets clipped with a big right hand. He won't get up from this one. It's all over. Tyson was twice, and it over. Tyson missed with the left hook. Corner, they told him to drop the right hand. The left hook lands, body shot, then the uppercut. Raises the chin up. As have so many of his opponents. Good left hook. Good, good combination by Tubbs. Good left by Tyson. Tubbs real. 30 seconds left in the round. Tell by the punch hurt. Tubbs is hurt. Tubbs is hurt badly. It was a left hook. And it's over. Odell Hadley has jumped in the ring. The fight is over. Chest. Tyson not afraid, as we expected, and Spinks ready to go. Michael Spinks has to keep moving because every shot. Oh, Uppercut landed inside, and Spinks went down. It was the left uppercut. I was surprised there was a body shot that put him to the canvas. And that is the first time Michael Spinks has ever been down in a professional fight. And he's down again and in serious trouble. A right hand right on the chin. Six, seven, eight. He's not going to make it. It's all over. Shake hands, good luck. Bruno showing that he's not afraid, hanging on. Bruno's already tagged with the right hand. And there goes Bruno for the first time in the fight. The right hand catches Bruno. Left hook. Bruno looks ready to go. Now is what he's got to hang on. The seats about eight or 9,000 here at the Hill Hotel. Bruno was caught that time, and Tyson knows it. Tyson trying to attack now to finish him off. Tyson gives him room to come off the ropes. Scores with the uppercut. Lancer, big right hand. Bruno's in big trouble now. He's ready to go. Tyson knows he's got him in big trouble. If he doesn't answer it, Richard Steele has moved in and has stopped the fight. The people in Williams' corner are sincerely worried about what he does in the first 30 seconds against the Tyson onslaught. This is so brilliant here. Sometimes you get too close about uh, the heads coming to the other Look at them as they exchange here in round one. Uh, probably Tyson. Oh, can he keep that left going? Oh, well, gee, there's a right hand against Bro. Uh, fights and you see, oh, there's Mike missing that big left and just the movement. 15 seconds now, this is the sixth round. They've been looking for that all night. Oh, that's a nice uppercut that time. The drop spots for Douglas. The count's up to two, and he does. All right, and the bell ends the eighth round. What 
past the midway point in round nine, and I expected Mike. Look at that! Landing some big shots! And now he can't get Tellis. Look at this! Who would ever have expected that? Yeah, there is Busted landing these. Oh, nice uppercut by Busted Douglas! Look at this! He's knocked Mike Tyson down for the first time in his career! Mike Tyson hits the canvas! He's in big trouble! He may not be able to recover! It's up to seven and eight! He's not gonna make it! Didn't seem to do anything, but it was a nice effort. And any time, oh, here comes Tyson. Tyson with a combination. And this is what I mean. If he makes a mistake early, you can't fix it, Jim. That was never great to begin with. A left hook by Tyson. But Bruno comes forward. Be here for 12 Jimmy. rounds, I guarantee you. Oh, a left hook by Mike Tyson. Flush on the face of Frank Bruno. Another left. And a combination by Tyson. Bruno expected. He said he's not looking for the Tyson who fought McKinley and Mathis. Here's a combination uppercut by Tyson. Tyson. Tyson comes right out, right into Bruce Sheldon. Bruce has used that jab with the right hook for 10. That goes that's straight up up there. Now that's not. Oh, down goes Bruce Sheldon. Come on. That was a punch high on the head. It was a punch right high in the head, Fred. You're exactly the right. right hand, and it was stunned him. It's long rest there, but he has felt. Back comes Sheldon. And Tyson with a left hook, and Sheldon is down on his stomach. Steve, there are two unalterable truths in boxing. If you have a great chin, you don't have a great chin, you can't get one. You can't buy one or learn one. Oh, you get it. But he's wobbly. You can it's always punch, over. and that's it. It's over in the first round. We'll see if he's overly cautious. And as expected, a brawling tactics, a straight right hand, a quick right by Tyson. 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 When they get close, tie him up for sure and tie him up right away. But if it is a war, a sort of boxing match rather than just these big slugs a lot. We've been wondering. Oh, head for the bow. Vicious left hook there by Tyson, but it was rotted off nicely by Holyfield. We were talking about before. Oh, a straight left hand by Holyfield. It's been Tyson holding up. Big factor with this type of fight, too. He's organizing Tyson. He's keeping him out of his attack. Left hook to the chin, I'll tell you what. That got to be in his attention and good. Tyson unleashing uppercuts to the body, digging to the chin. Punches here by Mike Tyson. Force, the force of his blow. But after four rounds, they go to the scorecards on an accidental foul. The scorecards in terms of an accidental foul. Evander's zeroing in on a big shot. Tyson is confused. Frustrated. Oh, a straight right combination by Holyfield. Oh, Tyson's in trouble. Here's Tyson looking to put Tyson down and end the fight. Tyson is not in trouble. He's got Logan. A left hook to the head. He's got Tyson in trouble. Tyson's ready to go. Kenny said he's going to be bobbing and weaving. He's going to be jabbing in the offense of Mike Tyson. I think you can sense the amount of respect here, too, by both fighters. Oh, 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 oh. Kenny said, I'm going to let this guy get pushed back. You know what Mike's doing? Mike's looking to duck and keep his leverage low. And come up and the head. Evander Holyfield. Back comes Tyson with a left hook to the head of Holyfield. He hurt Mike really good with that right hand. For that Tyson. Something we didn't see in the first fight. He looks over to, to Mills Lane. It's a cut around the blood streaking down from the the outer ring that postponed the to the ropes. Uh, he better get started. Round two, very bad for Tyson with that bad cut. Pushed away by Holyfield. Again, showing his strength. And the crowd really picking up now. Comes Tyson on the belt. Tyson with a short left hook to the head of Holyfield. A right hand right. by what happened here? He got bit, I think. Evander Holyfield, look out, he's pushed right here, above us by Tyson. He's got bit in the ear. Oh, my beating Holyfield in the right ear. What a reaction. A very angry Evander Holyfield now. A, a left hook. You know, it's funny, Tyson. Mike was having his best he round. Again. He, he did it again. again. I'll tell you what, this is unbelievable.
Bills Lane signaling that it's over. I think they've just about had enough. Tyson showing desperation in fighting Holyfield two times. Stacking up a little, unlike what Manny... Give him a chance to get back in the fight. He's dangerous at all times. Tyson trying to let his hands go. Catches two huge uppercuts. Why did Eddie Cotton pull him off? And then he got the Buster Douglas at the end of the eighth round. And that's going to be perhaps the end of the fight. It'll take some courage for Mike to get up from that shot. Seven, eight, nine. He's out. Athletic Lawrence knocks out Mike Tyson and banishes him from the upper stratosphere of the heavyweight division.